Good morning, everybody. We're just loading up here and headed off to work. Bit of a warmer day. I might be a little warm on the way in, but I'd rather be too warm than too cold. I can always take this layer off if I have to. So there's 9,257 miles on it now. I bought it with 8,912. So we've put a couple hundred on there already. We're just beginning. But for now, we gotta go over there and get that thing all warmed up and ready to go. It's a beautiful day outside. It's gonna be a good day. I can feel it. Who needs a bath? She needs a bath. No time for that right now. Things to do, stuff to haul. People to make happy. Come to life for me, girl, come on. Come on, show me you missed me. Show me you missed me. I'll let you do your thing with your gauges. There you go, see? You see? You're not gonna do them? Oh, there it goes. There it goes, shows me how much air pressure I have. You held your air very nicely overnight. Look at that. Very nice, very good girl, okay. Okay, here we go. There you are, there you are, all right. Now don't be grumpy, okay? I don't like mornings either. We gotta do this together. Oh, there she starts, starts her grumbling. Morning grumbling. That's what I sound like when I first get up in the morning too until I have my first cup of coffee. Can't blame her. I just let dispatch know that I'm here and ready to go. And uh, they responded with, do you have your passport? I sure do. I think we might be going to America today. You didn't strap yourselves in again, did you? All right, we already got the gate opening for us there. America, here we come. We're headed down to Deep River Falls, Minnesota. Here we go see what our American buddies are up to. See if anything has changed since we've been there. I haven't been there in what? Since November? Man, it's June now already. That's way too long of a gap. I guess there's a lot of people that haven't been there in a lot longer since the border is closed to non-essential right now. But hopefully, hopefully there's a light at the end of that tunnel and hopefully we can uh, get that border open for regular travel very soon. For now, I'm lucky I'm a truck driver. They should let me across. Plans change. I only got down to the 59th scale here and I'm headed back north. I was looking forward to going to the States. Maybe we'll go there tomorrow then. I gotta head up and uh, pick up a load in Winnipeg that's going to Portage La Prairie. The load gods had other plans for me today. That's okay as long as I'm doing something, right? It paid the same no matter what I'm doing. So I've got to go pick this load up with the same trailer I have behind me right now, the step deck. Pick it up on the southwest side of Winnipeg and drag it on over to Portage La Prairie. We do get to go a little ways today. And it's, still, it's still fun, right? It's still fun. I mean, it's, well, it's Portage La Prairie, let's be honest. Business logos on, that's why. 
hey, it worked. He got our attention. It worked. I thought that was just like a regular private job. So sometimes the, the colors people paint their vehicles. Just, Why? Why would you do that? All right, we're gonna go over the Red River here. The mighty red. Really? Another one? Popular guy, apparently. The little gods like me today. I want to talk to me. I'm just gonna run across the Flying J here on the other side of this bridge and grab a coffee. I don't know what's going on, and I gotta read these messages that they sent me. Apparently, one was very important. It's about time you guys fix this bridge. Man. Every time you drive over here, you gotta pull over and tighten all the nuts and bolts. Oh, what's this guy doing? Dude, you're sticking out into my lane. What are you doing? Hey, is that lane not big enough for you? Thank you very much. Patience, my friend. Patience. There it is. You see it? The flying hook. This is that new one that they built. I really like the location they put it in because like today, it's in the perfect spot. I'm going right past it. I was gonna get a coffee on the way back up from Thief River because I'd be going right past here then, but I guess America will just have to wait. We will grace you with our presence tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> I'm not that big of a deal, don't get too excited. put a stop sign here in the median it bugs me I noticed that the French municipalities in Manitoba do that for some reason instead of putting a yield sign there like a, like a normal intersection it's a stop sign so you go across one set of lanes and you gotta stop I don't know oh, little things little things bugs me a little bit didn't ruin my day though don't worry we're having a good day so while we're here at the mighty Flying J, I'm gonna fuel up my tanks. May as well. I'm below half tank. I'm stopping anyway. Oh, there's one of our guys. Sleeping. His curtains are pulled. I've slept here numerous times. Alright, Mr. Cattleman, I'm gonna come in right behind you here. Don't back up. I'm gonna sneak past you here. And is that one open? Yeah! Which has been better. Look at this tractor here to the right though. That's a tractor. Just in case he gets stuck, you know. That'll pull him out. And this is what pulled me off the U.S. freight. This stuff right here. This stuff's gotta go to Portage La Prairie, which is, I don't know, an hour or so that way. Maybe an hour and a half from where I am right now. This is bolted to the pallet. So I have the pallet strapped down. I've also got the straps going over the bottom, the base there. So just in case if they come loose, it's still gonna be place but they never do come loose there we go so let's not go to Thief River Falls Minnesota let's go to Portage La Prairie Manitoba Portage La Prairie is a like a historical town in Manitoba actually I'm pretty sure of it anyway since we learned about it in school <laughs> I don't remember all the details it was a special place at one time. So this is Oak Bluff here. We're headed west. We're going to go north up the west perimeter here for a second. And then uh, we're going to head west on Trans-Canada. And make our way towards Port. Portage La Prairie is sort of halfway between Winnipeg and Brandon. We used to go around there all the time when we headed west, when we were headed west into Saskatchewan. Very nice. 
so we don't even have to wait for traffic. I like. So there's only half a load behind me. It's not even that much. But it must have been important. They must have found someone else to go down to Thief River or that got delayed till tomorrow. I don't know. Or maybe I'll be doing it this afternoon yet. I don't know. I'll be in, well, actually, you know, I'll be in Portage and Prairie around 1.30. Unloaded there by 2. Back at our yard by 3, 3.30. I, no, I don't think they're going to send me to Thief River this afternoon. That would be a lot of overtime. That'd be a lot, because it's about three hours, I think, down to Thief River, and then four hours back. Because you can go down 59 and cross into Lancaster, Minnesota from Tolstoy, Manitoba, empty. But you can't cross there loaded. So we can go down empty there, but coming back, we gotta go across to Interstate 29 and head north up to Pembina, North Dakota, and cross into Emerson, Manitoba. It's a little bit longer on the way back. Usually, if you start first thing in the morning on your hours of service, you can usually get done two loads in one day. So uh, maybe that got pushed off till tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. That's not my job to figure that stuff out. My job is just do what I'm told, go pick up what they tell me to and bring it where they tell me to bring it. I like it that way. Less stress. I've seen a lot of these type of motorcycles out this year. Take a look at this guy. Like that was a Kawasaki. Uh, same style as like the BMW bikes, but they're sort of like touring, sport touring. Is that what you call it? Sport touring bikes? Lots of those on the highway this year. With all of the lockdowns and us being unable to travel outside of Canada, a lot of people have been investing their money into things to do here inside the country. Which So people are buying ATVs, motorcycles, campers. They can't keep them in the lot. That's where we come into play. We haul a lot of these toys. I'm gonna have to move over there, bud. You see me coming in? You see me coming in? You see my signal on? Are you gonna keep on coming? Thank you. He flashed me in. I appreciate that, my friend. Give him the thank you flashers. And get back into the right lane as fast as I can. There we go. But yeah, we haul a lot of those toys. So the, the ATVs, side-by-sides, motorcycles, stuff like that, the dealerships here can't keep them in stock. By the time we get it to them, it's already sold. I'm the same way. I got a motorcycle too. I need something to do, right? And you know, very soon they're going to be opening up travel domestically for us here in Manitoba uh, so that we can travel further in the country and come back and, and yeah, they're just making it easier on us. So it's, it's good. It looks like it should be a good summer. That's a curtain side. Not the ones I pull. I pull Conestogas. That's a curtain side.
destination should be just off on the right here somewhere. Not this place. Turn right onto 14th Street Northeast. Ah, up there. There it is. Google? Not sure where they want me. So I'm just gonna park here on the side and uh, oh, maybe in there? I see a yard in there. Sort of these trees are kind of in the way right now. Let this guy go past me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to go in there. How am I gonna get in there? Okay, he's waving me in. All right, I'll talk to you guys uh, in a little bit here. I gotta go in that entrance right over there. It's gonna be tight. Looks like he was waiting for me. That's nice. That's an uncut. Oh boy, oh boy, it's right here. Okay. Do you hear it? It's coming from back here. The trailers are singing. They must be happy. Happy that it's officially summer or what? Hey, who's singing back here? Oh yeah, now you're gonna stop. Don't play games with me. Whatever, you heard it, right? So the day is over. We ran out of hours in the day. Oh. What's this one? Sound like a beautiful orchestra of whales. Very nice, very nice. So this was the load I picked up uh, in Portage. I dropped off that load there, that other one, and I picked up this load. It's gotta go back to the same place I picked the other load up. It's just back and forth. Uh, but we ran out of hours in the day and uh, they're closed now. So this is being delivered 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. What's that? So it's gonna sit here, I'm gonna leave my truck hooked up to it. I'm just grabbing all my stuff out of here, gonna cram it all into my saddlebags on the bike again. And, uh, and head home. I have entirely too much stuff. I think this is what takes up the most room in my in my backpack. This lunch kit doesn't quite fit properly in a backpack. And they're, they're both like from the same company and they're both Chevy. You would think that they would make the backpack uh, a proper size so that the matching lunch kit could fit inside with ease. You would think that, right? You would be wrong. Nay, nay. Why would anyone do that? So I always gotta cram this thing in here. <laughs> not the first pocket, not the second pocket, the third pocket. It's the only pocket it fits in. And that's what makes it look like it's so full. And there's this thing here. And then I've got like my, a, a spare pair of jeans in here because in the morning I wear line jeans because it's a little colder. And then I put these other jeans on when I get to work, so I'm not sweating all day, right? A pair of jeans in there, and all kinds of other stuff in there. Oh boy. There we go. Okay. 
Fun stuff, right? That's why it looks like the backpack is so big. It's not actually that big. It's just my stomach's that big. I need that much food. Well, it's time to head out. We got a new guy who's in 2025. His name's Nathan. He's a really cool guy. I like him. So, my truck, 3006 or 3006, is going to sleep right here tonight. It's a nice warm night. I don't think I need to tuck her in or anything. She's good to go. Right? See you in the morning. Commander? What's going on over there? You okay, Chef? Chevy, you itchy? You itchy? Yeah, let me get it. Oh, I got an itchy spot. That's the good stuff, right? That's the good stuff. Don't scratch so hard. You're gonna cut yourself with those sharp talons. Right, Wiener? You gotta watch that guy. You gotta watch him, man. Where's Diesel? Diesel? Found him. You just chillaxing back here by yourself? Just chillaxing by yourself? <laughs> Good boys. You feeling all right? All right, just relaxing. So thanks for hanging out with me another day. It was, uh, it was disappointing that we couldn't go to the US. Super sad face, but Eh, it'll come, the time will come again. We'll run down there, pick something up, bring it back yet, and uh, we'll get there. We had some fun today going to Portage La Prairie and stuff. I mean, it's uh, Portage La Prairie, the most exciting place on earth, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Helps me out a lot. A lot, a lot. Let's get those likes over a thousand on this video, on every video. How about that? That's, that's this kind of marker we shoot for. Get that like up to over a thousand likes. That'd be great. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you tomorrow.